electric cars have been around since the 1880s. Cars powered by electricity have actually been on the scene since the 1800s and predate gas-powered cars. A blacksmith in Vermont, Thomas Davenport, invented a rotary electric motor in 1833 and attached it to a model train a year later. In the late 1830s, a Scottish inventor, Robert Davidson, rigged a carriage with an electric motor powered by batteries. This, to many, is the first electric car. In 1888, inventors in the U.S., Britain, and other European countries were inventing three- and four-wheel vehicles powered by electricity. These were mostly curiosities until 1897, when the Pope Manufacturing Company became the first company to commercially sell electric cars. It topped out at about 15 miles an hour and needed to be recharged every 30 miles. In the next two years, people could choose from an array of electric vehicles. And in New York City, there was a fleet of taxis that were run by electricity. And soon, those electric cars spread to Chicago, Boston, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. During the last few years of the 19th century and the first few years of the 20th century, there were over 100 companies offering electric cars. 28% of the 4,000 American autos produced in 1900 were electric. And at the New York Auto Show that year, there were more electrics on display than gas and steam vehicles. However, in the 1920s, the market for electric cars dried up, and it hasn't gotten any better since. The reasons why electric cars were faded into obscurity while gas-powered cars became the dominant vehicle are complex and debated to this day. If only the electric car hadn't been sidelined and development had continued, the world might be a very different place. Electric cars have been around since the 1880s.